am going to play offense. I, I think we need to play offense. I am for you know the assault weapon ban, background checks, uh, closing the Charleston loophole, studying it through the Center, Center for Disease Control. That we have to do. The social and emotional learning in the schools is very helpful. 90% of school shootings happen from kids who are in the schools. 70 plus percent of those kids say they were bullied, traumatized, isolated, somehow made to feel bad. And by incorporating social emotional learning in the schools, we can begin to tie these kids to the school better. No kid should feel isolated. No kid should feel bullied. This stuff moves the needle on bullying. It moves the needle on teen sex and teen drugs and all of these things. But it makes sure that no kid is isolated. And I think that's the most important part. And I've been in these schools. I've been in, in Miami. We have one in, our, in my district in Warren I got money for. It works. And the teachers love it. The kids love it. It changes the, the whole climate of the school. And so playing offense means preventing these things from happening in the first place. So you look at my agenda that I'm going to be pushing. It's going to be prevention and health care, prevention when it comes to schools, pre guns and violence in the schools and in our society. It's got to start with the kids. Prevention when it comes to making sure our kids have mental health and wellness and resiliency and really giving them the tools that they need, trying to prevent them from going into an economy unprepared. Every issue I'm dealing with here, I'm looking at it as how can we play offense. I'm tired of us playing defense. I'm tired of us being back on our heels. It's time. We don't need necessarily a bigger government, but we need a more active, proactive government. Mm -hmm. I think that's the real question. Thank you very much.